Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. This is my forehead and a regular blue shirt. This is the Tiny Bronco Waterbound, and this is more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough where I, your host of this adventure. Oh, there's intel to gather? What? I play these video games, long form RPGs. Or Soulsborns. Let me play the whole thing. If you want to watch more of me playing the whole thing, there are many other playlists out there. But for now, we're following a treasure map. My current MSQ is to go to the Gold Saucer. I've been doing everything else but go to the gold saucer. I'm doing everything else before we, we head back. point is way down here. I believe. I don't like how the camera keeps readjusting every time I micro steer. I have a sneaky suspicion that this song will also get copyright flagged. Unfortunately. I feel like the pirate jetson is going to be a similar thing of like the stupid um chocobo tufts the choco tufts but yeah here's the main quest we're on is right here the keystone's whereabouts head of the gold saucer speak with dio which we'll be doing soon because i don't have much else to do in the open world Probably something for later, but at least we get the map explored now. Actually, let you use those 
Ah, neat. Not that going around the tiny Bronco like that is very time saving because you have full full fast travel worldwide now. But that's cool. Does the Shinra Red exist in both ports at the same time? Oh, let me guess. Is that big? I don't care if the two feet higher, twenty. Just give me some kind of waves. Anything to get this boat rocking. Screw it. Bring on a full-blown squall. We can take it. Oops. That was a box. It's a very large bird. Oop. I'm assuming it's just the condor from that earlier side quest. Oh, cool. You can also dock here. I was going to say a few episodes ago, but I kept getting cut off by dialogue, so I stopped trying. I'm fully expecting the third game to have a lot of open worldness. Like way more. Wait a minute. Or you'll just have, you have a high, you'll have the high wind of the tiny Bronco where you just get to go so many places. I don't know how much of on rails. I mean, at certain points, I'm sure it will be, but. Don't tell me, are there hidden like little treasure places to go? might be ocean intel stuff then interesting that would follow the og's progression yeah because later on into the original game you would you could just go anywhere my wonder is if they're gonna make like ultimate weapons like harder to farm or figure out or if everything's still gonna kind of be told to you you just have to like just go do it one thing that i'm wondering about is how they're gonna make that I mean, with the power of the internet, once one person figures out, everyone will know, I guess, in that regard. So I wonder how they're going to do that. With the end game progression. In the third game. I mean, it's three or four years away, so. Who knows? So it's just two of each of these monster types, okay. This is a guy weak to frost, right? Oh, this guy's also different. They're all kind of similar. This is like a special one of the... Too bad. They're all the same color scheme. It's 
So stagger in counter stance with fire. Got it. Yeah. to wait toward to do its thing but it's kind of not doing anything just punching and kicking me for like all my health Was easily the most annoying of the pirate bosses. Just did the most annoying move set, I guess. Linkisms. What am I supposed to use Moogle medals for this late into the game? I have like 120. Well then, we've collected all the lost fragments. Time to reassemble the Pirate King's treasure. <clears throat> Corsair's Compass. Who knows 
to where that compass will take us. Maybe it'll lead us to some crazy treasure. I can't wait to find out. You do you. Uh, <laughs> or not. <laughs> I mean, nothing could compare to the greatest treasure of all. The planet. Okay, crew. Let's weigh anchor and hoist the mizzen. The live stream's calling, and it's high time we set sail. Yo-ho, we hearties! Transmitted the ancient pirate king's trusty compass. Pay attention to where it points you while sailing the high seas. It may lead you to treasure. Oh boy. It's more roaming around exploration. Okay. One moment. It might just be this song, but like. This songs are during cutscenes. Music is regular music, but it I have I have I have dialogue all the way up, but I could barely even hear red during that. The song is cranked. Alright, well that's all done. This can be just fast travel to now? Okay. Clearly we can go up there eventually, maybe. Unless maybe not. So that's done. It's cold saucer time? Let me just see how this compass works for real quick. You ready to jet? Because now I'm wondering if there's an only point when there's something to discover nearby. And there's an only point to like stuff floating around in the open. Oh. And is it new stuff? Oh, okay. So there's, yep. So it points to those. I thought that was something there. There's just more rocks. So now, what do you... Use the jetsam for.
whole gulf seems so shallow. I mean, it's quite the barrier reef. to do with it yet. <laughs> Look at the fog of war. Ooh. Yeah. There's probably more out in the more open water. I didn't do any of this. I was just going around coastlines. But I'm sure something is going to point us towards them eventually. saucer and our potential final queen's blood with Ledrell. and then we have the only other side quest we have is more trocobo races all right and then somewhere in this this will open up the proto relic that's still in this zone which is the last one there are new combat sims Missing one. Oh, the Corel region. So probably has to do it after the Proto Relic, I'd imagine. Four more. These are like super mobs from the regions. And we can't get this until we get the Proto Relic stuff done. Oops. Okay. Two. The Saucer. Should split up to look for Dio. Will do. If I catch you goofing off, so help me out. Ah, <laughs> uh, Cloud, you got a minute? There's something I failed to mention about the Temple of the Ancients. You might call it a legend or a warning. Uh huh. You see. No one who goes into the temple ever comes out again. No one. Mm. And I'm wondering if you really want to take everyone to a place like that. You said it yourself. 
It's just a legend. A dead? Aye, but... Let's focus on finding Dio and the Keystone for now. Yeah, I mean, there's a... a very direct point of no return. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'm doing anything first. Oh my god. <laughs> Every single node has new stuff. And here we are. Yep. Where is he? Guts of blood, screams of pain. Oh. All that gore and more awaits you in tomorrow's gruesome match at Battle Square's Musclehead Coliseum. Aren't you just dying to experience it? <laughs> yep, Dio versus Corneo. <laughs> Is fatigue haunting your every footstep? Take a load off. <laughs> it's a good gag, but like, that guy's dead, right? How long has he been hanging upside down? Oh! We hope you drop in again soon. <laughs> Guts of blood, screams of pain. Oh, that's right. There's the vendor now. I can't wait to see who wins the contest. There's no way I did it with the contest. Those are the absolute best what? lyrics I've ever written. First off, Chadley. Hello there, Cloud. Are you enjoying yourself here at the Gold Saucer? Four years ago, the park underwent extensive renovations and was outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. Even today, the Gold Saucer continues to expand, with new attractions currently in the works. The Gold Saucer is powered by proprietary modular reactors, but due to environmental concerns, the reactors are cycled between active and dormant states to slow Corel's desertification. Yeah, well... It's a yin yang boss. Wow, okay. So there's the tier seven materials. Wait, is that tier seven? Is that tier eight? Tier eight? are upgraded. We don't, I don't even have the pattern for these yet. Yeah, it should be one of each. Yeah. But they only have one of each. They only have stock one. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about buying all those until I actually redo all the stuff, because redoing all the stuff is what gives me the... the MGP to do it. Okay. Okay. Queen's blood first. Let's get this done. Essence. 
You must show me what you are capable of before she discovers us. Does he count as the 28th player? No, there's still one more player to deal with. I'm going to swap out one of those for Vincent, right? Or no, Sid probably? We could swap him for Kate Sith as well. Because I'm not going to be able to destroy Vincent as easily. But he's definitely a. a ma these are all amazing one drops. I mean, a first turn Sid, second turn Tiny Bronco is absolutely cracked, so I'll try that. Add that to this deck. Ramu. Hmm. Little intercardinal inter debuffing, I see. I'm going to aggressively redraw to try to get first turn Sid. Ooh, baby. Actually, is it better to do second turn Sid now? Yes. this push. Those are not great. annoying. Might be a restart. Maybe I should have just done Sid Bronco back to back to shore up a better opening. much have to play here. Nope. 
not a bad trade, but... Oh! Sneaky. sense griffin buffs oh never mind okay okay i guess i get like the first like That was, a, that was a tough decision. Yeah, I can't can't bounce enough points. Okay. I, mean, I should have just done what I was redrawing to do. Interesting. Eh, I might play top. Yep. swap cards but they don't really do anything for him that one will mm -hmm -hmm. that was Trixie diagonals are tough man diagonals are really strong in this game You don't say. Pretty sure I have him without issue, but. Technically, that's 1-1, one, one, so we have to play a third game for best of three.
You remember, don't you? The inn at Colm. I hung it on your door, though I signed it in the proprietor's name. So that was you. Mm. Forgive my subterfuge, but I was in dire need of a skilled player. And you certainly did not disappoint. You were even able to best me. Which, while impressive, won't be enough. Not if you intend to hold the Shadow Blood Queen's card in your deck. That foul thing is the source of this nightmare. The very embodiment of the villain herself. Through the card, she feeds on the wielder's life force, claiming their strength that she may one day be reborn. Countless players have succumbed to this vile curse. And now one more death is all she requires to return. Cloud, find the sorceress. She who rallied the people. She who deposed the queen, the Emerald Witch. Her card sleeps in Nibelheim with a monster of chaos. You must hurry before it is too late. Oh, good. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Ladies Blood Sovereign. This is it. Only one opponent remains. The monster of chaos. I know nothing of their skills, but I have faith that yours are superior. Vanquish this fiend and the witch's card will be yours. Alright, well. I think we'll do that after we do some other stuff here first. Your trusty guide mobile is at your service. If the ghost square still has something. We look forward to serving you. Oh, it's just each area says find Dio. We again soon, Koopo. Just name the square, and I'll get you there. Hold on to your hat, Koopo. Too much. We've arrived at your destination. Where's Billy? Attention, Chocobo race fans! In oh, hey, Cloud! Got some news! Apparently, the powers that be like what we have to offer. Gave us permission to race in the Gold Cup! So I went and signed you up as soon as I could. After all, you're the best jockey I know. Yeah. The Cup is three races, and you get points based on where you place in each. Bird with the most at the end wins. But the races are nothing like you've ever seen before. Gotta be on the ball if you want to take the top spot. Anyway, when you're ready to face off against the finest riders this side of the continent, head on over to registration. Okie dokie. Hey there. You treating your chocobos right? Catch you later. Oh. Hey. Sorry, but I haven't caught a whiff of Dio yet. Damn good race yeah it'd be awesome if i could enter <laughs> as a jockey or a chocobo mm, either or <laughs> keeping pace with humans doesn't make for good exercise i gotta get back in shape <laughs> you go. You can so stupid to one of the chocobos. which of these races will you be competing in yes Three first places in a row is a flawless victory. Oh my god. 
<laughs> so many. Look how many were in the first one. We only take like three minutes each, but good. There's God. This game has so many other games in it. Like all this Chocobo Racing, which they did back in the day, was its own game. Oh my goodness. Oh, but yeah, you get tons of points with these. 450. 420. 305. 405? 405. You get a lot of points for these. Get a lot, a lot. Look at all my chocobos. Oh, they all have different abilities. Speed burst. Rock solid. Bird shot. Fire off three blasts to travel in a straight line and send any rivals they collide with reeling. Choco jump. The pine of the air extend the flight time or avoid obstacles. Chocolate on landing knocks down nearby rivals. Choco bubble. Fly through the air with Choco hoverbird. To avoid rough terrain, traps, and out of bound penalties. Alright, Apony. So you can just skip sections of the track, maybe? I think Selena sounds fun. Low acceleration. Courses, it's the free course. Oh, we have the whole Merc set, that's right. Or no, we don't have, the, yeah, we do. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I want to try a different, a bird, try a different chocobo, but just having super dash does just seem best if you're just trying to get and stay in first place. We'll, we'll try a little something different for a moment.
I mean, because all the original races are all on Pico. So it just makes you wonder, do you need any of the other abilities or do you just need the dash? Right. Bounce plates? Oh gosh! I don't know if I like that. drift. Definitely longer per per lap for sure. Oops, overcorrected. I feel like I hold my controller too. dashes in this cup. That's what the other dash was. Oops, wrong pivot. Ah, that sucks. Man, that would have been a whole race before. Having essentially a red a red shell permanently for this whole section is pretty good. No, you, you choose to shoot it, but it's an auto lock. This one auto locks. Yeah. I choose when to fire it off and you can store two, two charges of it. Oh God. 
That's tight. Oops. Yeah, so... Selena is just... She's not going to be as fast. But if you pass her... If you go from second to first, you just knock the person backwards. to absolutely despise those cactuar doors yeah maybe you very much doubt that we want to stretch and using non-pico stuff just went pico for ease and boosted big speed with mostly balance everything else yeah you said these were were mostly first try what about the obsidian cup Yeah, Choco Bubble seems pretty good. Oh, which which course is this again? Shiva Ice Fields. Got water hazards. You were a Mario Kart kid, double dash forever. I mean, sure, same. Not double dash wasn't my jam, just Mario Kart 64 was my jam. But do I remember talking to Chadley while in the dress as Cloud in Remake? I think so? But I don't remember. I've played a lot of Final Fantasy VII since that moment. <laughs> I feel like I'm holding the X button way too hard. This is from this is racing games. You get tense. I was trying to cut that angle, but it didn't. Ooh. Ah! Selena! Oh, God! Oh, he blew up! Wow, that one came right for me. Well... gonna be some uh gonna make up some make up some distance here since you can't really hit two of those at the same time <sighs> you son of a bitch I don't know about this one I am way too behind now. And the rat pack is pretty dense.
Without going Pico, though, I can't do Mario Kart rules where it's like, you know, hitting stuff or, or going over terrain. No, thank you. Because with Pika, you can you can course skip. With Super Dash, you just run over things. Oh damn! Trying to be cheeky. Correction. I'm a chocobo, you're a chocobo. There we go. Made up a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, I can't do any cheeky stuff, but if once I get first place, it's basically secured. Because if you get past, you just red shell them. And you reset their... Probably take down their top speed so they have to catch up to you. Not bad, not bad. Maybe these races are like double the time it took the previous ones. So look at all these. These are all like just over or just under three minutes for the whole race to place first. And now these are all like five, four, definitely longer for sure. And those are the still, still silver ones. Because now we're in the gold ones. Memorize the placement of each obstacle to navigate these rough waters at ease. So another still water race. All this stuff is, okay, these next two are water oriented. We're pretty good. I'll change my hat, maybe. Still pretty good. <laughs> Look over at chat. Welcome to hell. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a nasty turn. Oh man, you're messed up. I was wondering, looking at the map, if I wanted to increase my cornering stat. Probably should have. So rude, man. Oops. Not the other. Oh, nasty. That's quite the cornering. And the Rat Pack is no joke. at that time. A little early on my drift. I don't know if it, it's faster, but I don't know if it's... Hmm. Oh, I can't do that with this loadout. That was weird. What the hell was that? I was trying to be cheeky on that. It's okay. I would definitely need the a different to take that aggressive of a turn. Almost. This is the only drawback if you don't, if they don't dis disperse enough, you get quite rat packed. Unless you secure first. This map's just got, as I imagine, they're all gonna bet to get a lot more tumultuous. Just that last series of turns. Didn't hit the jump ahead. Ah, rough. Oh, that's almost doable. Some gross cur gross corners. Keep an eye on the tracks, many hazards. The Ramu Bolt. Let's 
go again. My poor thumb. <laughs> Out of practice with uh, racing games. Ooh, the good song. moving. That's too, too cornered. speed yet. Oh, that's gross. Oh, God. That yeah, first one's a trick. Too much corning. I'm being too aggressive with the with my counter drift. Oh, that's right. Woo! Oh, wrong drift. Risky. Still just barely on that edge. Damn, see? Just cutting them too close for some reason. Don't need to. Oh, I didn't want that. Okay, we're good. the uh, leisurely route. Oh, oh, no. That was a whoops. My last turn is 
pretty dangerous degree. More than that, actually, probably. Nice. Probably no water. keep going only this and one more for this tier of race a lot more breaking turns with uh, this race here. Compared to the previous! Alright, that's a tricky one. It'll only get more tricky as you go faster, too. Sorry. Hmm. I don't know if you can drift that because it's double 90 degrees. take the jump. shallow on that. Big improvement. This makes me want to break out Mario on my Switch, though. We have to do it into this turn. I thought some uh, people were out to race today. Where, where's the racers at? This track was instantly easier than the previous, so. We. It's a slight decrease in speed, I think. Mm-hmm. 
Nice. Clean. The Legend Cup. Legend races. Oh my god! I know I looked at it earlier, but holy crap! Six hairpins in this course? What the heck? At least four, depending on how they want to do that top loop there. In the top right corner. I don't know if those count as hairpins. But the the cute angle ones. There's one, two, three, four, five, at least five. Good lord. Okay. Well, I've got all like the defensive stuff on. It's our first time. So. Although I think this might be a better for Pico though, considering the straightaway is gonna get a lead. All right, last chug of a race before we change it up a little bit. Cause there's still more. I'm not gonna do them all in one sitting. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Should be clear. See, with Pika, you could just skip so much of this. Oh, it's way too early. That should open. I'm getting sweaty thumb. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's nasty. Oh no! Really? Okay. Wow. Now that's the first time the doors have actually totally ruined my run. Now the question is, can I make it back? trying to change lanes at that point. Oh, come on, man. Wow. This course is all cactuar doors.
really all Cactuar doors. And I can't even make that as a double drift. Might not be recoverable. Yeah, they should. I feel like they should have like a light on them or something that flashes. Yeah. Like their uh, little tufts on their head should flash when they're about to change. one to restart nope I like how the NPC is like one chocobo length ahead of me but because of the closing timing they get through but I don't big restart mode got sweaty thumb oh the song changes each time okay I thought it was They make a noise, but only when you're so close to them. I wonder if I could bubble them in the air and they would fall down. Mario Kart style. I can't, can't make that. That's rough to do a double drift. I got a hit still, apparently. Closed on me. It's obnoxious. Yeah, I, I was stopping. I was slowing down in front of the other ones. Unless you see it open as you're on the straightaway, like right there. You just know it's no point in risking it. I bet if you were the flying chocobo on this one, you could skip all the way past this whole turn. With her boost jump. Let's see, so this... And I gotta go here. Yep. Oh! I had a dash, so I was like... I have a dash and a bubble. We're good. <laughs> That's funny. Oh it's, oh, it's not possible. That's tough. I would need more cornering, more weight. And this should be sealed because I don't have, I have two, 
two bubbles. I'm not going to make it. I want to see if those will keep going. I also only meant to throw one of them. I didn't mean to throw both. This one? Yeah. sides. It's not even risky anymore, man. And this one. And I should be good here. <laughs> Much smoother. Just had to, you know, learn the race. Deep. But, oh, close enough. We take those. We take those. Huge. Woo. Nice. All right, now we're into the legends. It's weird though, these are the legends, but this is grade one legend. Which is the whole point of what we're supposed to do is you have to do this to do legs. These look much shorter though. We're back to the, like regular races, but you have to do three in a row. Um, gotcha. I. All right, we'll save the legend races for later. These things look... Oh, it's basically the entire zone. So there's... There's like three biomes, right? Yeah, it's a mixture. This is like the entire underwater zone. This is the entire like floating zone, a little bit underwater. This is the entire grassland zone. Well, it's like half and half. This one's half and half. So it's two, two half and half and two like full zones. Huh. Okay. I think we'll do these later. Let's uh, at least get the quest one, which we're supposed to do. So which is just three regular races. It's still nine laps then. Oh. Cloud! I can't believe it. This is really happening. We're about to race in the gold cup. Oh, hell. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. We made it! Mm. <laughs> Rain it in. Couldn't even if I wanted. Okay, Cloud, your bird's ready and raring to go. All that's left is... Cheek, if that ain't the stupidest. Obviously, some sore losers are trying to raise a stink. We'd best nip this thing in the bud. What's up, Sam? If you tell them the reason we keep winning is because we know how to take care of our birds. Long time no see, Merc. And Miss Tifa, too. Should have told me you were dropping by. Would have given you the royal treatment. Oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, I'm surprised to see your name on the jockey list. 
What sparked your interest in bird racing? This and that. Fell into it, did you? Well, you're a natural. Not just anybody can break my ace of streak. <laughs> that was just a practice race. My official record is still pristine. This is the Gold Cup. The contest for which Hyperion and I have trained non-stop. You got the drop on us before, but you won't get lucky twice. Now we're talking. Hmm. You two are gonna give the people a race to remember. <laughs> You're... Billy, I work on Bill's ranch. You might remember my parents, Will and Clara, since you killed them. Did I? Don't play dumb. You were mad their business was eating into your profits. So you got them addicted to gambling. It was all part of your grand plan. Hmm. Wouldn't say the story is that simple. But the truth can be one bitter drink. You ain't nowhere near old enough to keep it down. I ain't just some stupid kid. And I'll prove <laughs> it to you. If my man here wins the gold cup, that's proof I'm old enough to hear your truth. You're on. Hmm. Deadly little ranch like yours ain't got a chance. But best of luck to y'all. Sure about this? Pressure's on now. Yeah, well, all I gotta do is win it all, right? Correct. Was expecting a cutscene. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gold Saucers Chocobo Racetrack, which right. today plays host to racing's biggest competition, the Gold Cup. Over three grueling races, our contenders will push themselves to the limit. The world is watching with bated breath as the best of the best take their places for what will surely be one heck of a race. Fan favorite Joe will be riding the Chocobo Hyperion for Sam's delivery service. And given his track record, many expect the decorated champion to be first across the finish line. All right, folks, our contenders are ready. Every gate is occupied, so this is it. All right, let's the do it. The moment you've been waiting for, the Gold Cup. Oh, these jockeys actually have different sets on now. In the, in the previous races, they don't have different sets on. No. No, 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 Hector gate. Oh no, man. Okay. That's how it's gonna be, huh? Nothing fancy, just smooth right. Wow. Oh, come on, really? That sucks.
Blocks. Oh, there's a boost pad over there, I see. Uh, we're good. These are back to being really short. Just three of them in a row. Sky Slasher, Hyperion, Siren's Call, Burning Desire, Donnie Draco, or Draco, <laughs> Crystal Collector, Sylvan Celebrity, Reaper's Touch, and the Hermit's Hope. And then, of course, there's just Selena. Excellent. It's gonna be a longer episode because of how many mini games we're doing here, but we hope that's fine. Ready for more now I can't restart though. Because we're just you restart the whole thing. Here comes our next race. Spinners this time. Spinners and bumpers. Oops, I guess I went right through them. Oh god, that hairpin again. Super fast one. Crap. I let off the uh, the choco gas just a moment too long. <gasps> Are you immune to that? Oh, is that your thing? Oh, I see. When the shield is glowing, you're immune to that. Oh, no. I didn't notice that last race that there was a high hazard there, so you can't skip. Oh, I get it. It's cheeky. That was worth it. Joe is right behind me, though. I also want to let him get in front just to hit him with a water ball. Nice. 
Alrighty. Last leg. Can I do it? This is turning into one heated tournament, folks. But who will be riding home with the gold cup? Only one more race remains in this exciting event. Let's see who comes out on top. Oh, I was looking at the map. Didn't get my early boost. That's fine. Of course. I feel like I'm like really far behind this time. These are nasty. Shouldn't have done it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm coming back in this one. I think I lost too much momentum on that first opening. Too late, I was going for the balloon. Dude, holy crap. Let's see. Is the beginning of the minigame the whole thing? This is a test. But I messed up. I don't know if it's just this race. I'm assuming it's the whole thing. If it's the whole thing, then we'll be done. This is turning oh, into it's not. Oh, wow. Folks, okay. But who will be riding home with the gold I figured it'd be the whole race, but Only one more I'll take it. Remains in this exciting event. Let's see who comes out on top. First, it's always like the first obstacle. If you get hit, you're just like, you're done. I wonder if I should go for that. This turn is disgusting. Making me like move in my chair. It hurts my toes. Pretty sure Joe has a buff on this last race, I'd imagine. Just it's way up there. Ugh, 
Missing that is bad. Oh, he got it too. What the hell? Just even for the last leg, but I gotta not derp. Oh my! Okay, well, debated. So we're okay. Oh, I needed to start this earlier. That was risky. came in freaking sixth or tenth eighth he didn't even come in second i'm assuming it's hyperion is the uh other guy joe clean sweep him Those are all my cho- Oh. Nice work. Oh, that was cute. Boom. Me the lore. You did it, Cloud! You really did it! You went and won us the gold cup! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mind letting me breathe? <laughs> nice riding. <laughs> Thanks. There's a streak running bastard. You stole the title right out from under my nose. Yep. Well, Hyperion didn't make it easy. <laughs> I'd hope not. Mighty fine bird you raised. He beat mine fair and square. I didn't write Pico though. Just tell me, what happened to my parents? I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. business your parents were trying to break into after they got their ranch up and running wild chocobo conservation it's no secret that environmental changes have been hard on the birds and what's bad for them is bad for business unfortunately nobody seemed to care saving the planet ain't cheap you see Folks know somebody's got to pay for it, but they'll be damned if it's going to be them. So while everybody else turned a blind eye, one couple faced the problem head on. Your parents. Hmm. They had everything they'd need. The know-how, drive, 
and passion. Thing is, none of that counts for much if you ain't got the gill. So they went around taking out loans left and right, till they were swimming in debt, which is when they ran into the meanest shark of them all. Reckon you know who. Corneo. Don Corneo. Uh, I didn't know it at the uh, time, but that sleazy son oh. bitch was rounding up folks and shipping yeah, them yeah, off yeah, to Shinra yeah. for their experiments. <laughs> oh. Will and Claire figured it was the only way they'd be able to save their business, so they signed up. <laughs> while later, Will paid me a visit, begged me to take the reins in his and Clara's stead. He wanted what was best for those birds. As did I, so I took him up on the offer and bought him out. And since then, I ain't seen either one of your parents. It was only after that I heard about Corneo's antics through the grapevine. Couldn't do a thing to stop him. Not with Shinra in the wings. That's for sure. They say anything about me? Or my sister? Not to me, no. Don't go thinking they forgot about you. You and your sister were always at the forefront of their minds. The business might have gone south. But they chose to give up their future to make sure you two could have yours. That's why you got a roof over your head, a place to work, and food to eat. I can't believe it. I've had it wrong this whole time. Son, I'd be surprised if there's a wild chocobo out there that doesn't owe its freedom to your mom and your dad, one way or another. Hmm. Hell of a legacy to live up to. But if you want it, the business is yours. Just know this, it ain't gonna turn a profit. So unless you can find a way to fund it, you'll wind up in the same trouble as your folks. Think it over. Maybe chat with Pop Paw too. Call it. Heads or tails, son. Get it right, and I'll float you some operating capital. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna do this on my own. Me and Chloe and Gramps, I mean. Hmm. You truly are their boy. Got your old man's pig head and your mother's backbone. Not bad. Hmm. I... I'm gonna do my parents proud. You'll see. It may take some time, but I'll make sure their legacy lives on. I don't get it. If Gramps knew all this, why do you make it sound like Sam was to blame? He was probably trying to protect you, to stop you from going after Corneo or Shinra on your own. So he pinned it on Sam. Knowing that your uncle would be okay shouldering the blame. Shouldn't have to tell you this, but seeking revenge would be stupid. <laughs> I know. Still, if an opportunity did happen to come along, you'd help me out, wouldn't you? Hey, I'm a world famous jockey now. Can't be associated with that kind of stuff. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you had me going there. So more about that quest line probably in the third game. Well, damn.
There is still more to do. We'll save that for the next one. I'll leave the outro on this one brief. Thank you for watching live or on YouTube. Hope you're enjoying it. See you in the next one.